Crazy Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at something new from Arctic Cooling. It's the Freezer Extreme Revision 2. Now this one here is a CPU cooler, but I reviewed video cards that had the um, Arctic Cooling fans and uh, heat sinks on it. So it's going to be interesting to review a CPU cooler today. Now looking at the box here, it says that it's compatible with the Intel Core i7, i5, of course the AMD sockets, so all your AMD CPUs up to 160 watts, so that's terrific. I'm going to be using this with the 6 core processor. And it comes pre-applied with some thermal paste on it, and it has all the materials that you need to install it in either an Intel or an AMD uh, socket board, so don't worry about uh, having to uh, purchase anything else. The fan is actually quite quiet only goes from uh, 800 to 1500 RPM. There's what uh, we've got in the uh, package for Intel and AMD and the manual, straightforward. And um, taking a look at it here, you can see the pipes. There's four of them going in a U-shape down to the base, and you can see that there's a fan in the middle, okay, sandwiched in between. There's the thermal paste that I mentioned that uh, comes pre-applied. Nice copper pipes there, so good uh, heat transfer coming in. And um, and of course, it has the cable for the uh, power management of the uh, fan, power managed and controlled. And we're going to be uh, using, obviously, a uh, bracket. Okay, so it comes with a bracket that you would put on there, depending on the type of CPU. If you're using the Intel or the AMD, then you would attach it appropriately there to the sides. And um, like I said, the fan is actually quite easy to. Um, to remove if you wanted. The only thing I didn't like about it is that the way it clips on, it's a kind of flimsy, but um, the design is very efficient actually. This uh, sandwich design with the fan in the middle works very well. Here it is with the uh, fan out so you can get a closer look. Like I mentioned, it's very quiet, so I really like the uh, results of this fan and the, uh, and the design. I just didn't like how it clips, okay? I thought that the way that uh, it clips is very flimsy okay and um, they could have done a better job to uh, attach it on there okay uh, as you can see here I took off the uh, plastic covers on either side and um, then I took out the uh, fan which goes in the middle there and you need to actually screw in two screws that's why you need to take out the fan so um, let me show you briefly here what I'm talking about we'll install it in my uh, in my test system here like I said I'm, I'm using an Intel um, CPU sometimes, but today I'm going to be using an AMD uh, 6 core, the 1075T that came out recently. Okay, and uh, I've already put the uh, CPU on the board, applied the thermal paste. So the next thing to do, of course, is to install the um, CPU cooler. So we've got the fan out, and I attached these two brackets for the AMD CPU, which clip on to the uh, motherboard bracket that comes already. Uh, installed on your motherboard and uh, once it's uh, clipped on there then the next thing to do is to screw in these two screws that go on either side okay so they give you uh, um, uh, you know the chance to put that in and hopefully you've got a screwdriver that you can just um, put the two screws one on one side and, and the other one up here at the top okay you screw those two in and uh, and now it's fastened nicely in there clip the fan back in there and um, and then you're set now like I said I'm not very uh, happy at the way the fan clips in there. I find it kind of flimsy, but uh, either way, with this test system, I was very, very surprised at the results. Okay, the results are excellent. Um, on idle, I was getting about 24 degrees Celsius. Now that's very, very low. And then on full load, 41 degrees Celsius. So that's terrific for a six core processor. So again, the only thing I didn't like is the fan and the installation could have been a little bit more friendlier but uh, still 7 out of 10 is what I give it and I'd like to thank uh, Arctic Cooling for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.